Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will talk about core modules. Guys, keep in mind, not only Node.js, even every programming language have its own core modules like C, C++, Python, PHP, uh, Java. Every programming language has core modules. So we will discuss what are the core modules. After that, uh, I will tell you what are the global modules. So global modules are basically the part of core modules in Node.js. And uh, after that, we will check out uh, some examples of global module and non-global module also. There is a one more type of module which are the external module. I will tell you the definition of it, but example and details we will check out in the another video, right? And at the last, we will discuss some, some important interview questions. So now let's start with the first question. What are the core modules? Every programming language have some basic features and functionalities and we call them core modules. For example, every programming language have uh, uh, some functions to connect with the database, uh, to show the dates and time and all, to handle the APIs, to handle the data, right? And we call them core modules. Great. So let's check a example of core modules. So console.log, I already told you in the previous video about console.log. This is basically a core module. Here you can see that we never define this console.log function or class or anything. But still, whenever we will run it, it always give the output. So where this is defined? This is defined in Node.js internally, right? That's why we can call it core module. There is some more example also we will discuss in this video. But before that, we have to know that this is the global core module or non-global core module. This is the global core module. How this is the global core module? Because global modules are those we never have to import from anywhere. Here you can see that we did not import it from anywhere from node and some another package, but still it will work fine. Right? So, so what are the known global modules? Those module we have to import from node.js. For example, I can show you an example. So let's say we have a file system. We want to use file system fs dot uh, we have a function with the name of uh, write file sync and let's say i'm trying to create a new file hello dot px pxt and i want to write something inside it let's say code step by step right whenever i will run it it will give a error to us here you can see that because this is not defined it here but how we know that this is the core module so even if you want to check that you can check it over the uh, documentation of node.js let's open the official documentation go to the docs and let's select your uh, node.js version and here you can see that we have uh, some uh, modules like console that we just use here after that we have fs file system whenever i'm just clicking over it you can see that uh, let me just go down because this is a really a big module here you can see that fs and fs dot write file sync right here you can see that but why this is not working here because this is a known global module before we use it we have to import it import from where from node.js so let's import it uh, const fs equal to require fs and now you will find that it will work fine and we have to uh, see a file here and we have a new file with the name of hello.txt and it have some code also right this is working fine so this is the basic example of non-global uh, module because we have to import it from the node.js and is it the part of core module or not obviously this is the core module because we are importing it from node.js when we do we did not install it anywhere this is a pre-installed in our node.js system great so now let's take a look of some another example of uh, 
uh, core modules so I am just going to remove all these okay I'm just gonna comment of it or comment of both of it so that we can just check out some more examples so let's make a console dot log and we can use here minus minus dir this is the another example of a global core module because we did not import it from anywhere but still it will work fine and it will give the fi uh, folder name basically you can see that the directory name I'm running it and it will basically provide the directory name to us and one more we have file name it will provide the directory name as well as our file name also so where they are useful whenever uh, let's say we have a uh, lots of uh, pages in our application and uh, folders also and we want to some run our code in a conditional basis if we have this folder then we have to run this code and if we have that file then we want to run this code that time we can check our file and folder name with the uh, underscore underscore file name and underscore underscore directory name and these both are the uh, global core modules great all right so now the question is what are the external module sometime whenever we are working with our large application we need some extra functionality and we don't know how to implement it for example you don't know that uh, uh, how to make a chat application that time we can uh, use the external socket modules or you want to implement some google login functionality or a login with a facebook functionality that time we can use the external library we can just simply install in uh, it uh, them in our application and we can use them right so how we can use them exactly i will tell you in the different video because this is a totally different topic but here you can just find the difference between core module and external module great so now let's check out the points again now we talked about uh, core modules global modules examples and all now let's talk about interview questions so first interview question is uh, is it uh, necessary to just import our file system on a top or any uh, module on the top no it's not uh, necessary if uh, you will just uh, import it after uh, console.log it will still still work fine so let me just create one more file with the name of abc.txt it will still work fine but this is recommended that we always have to import or you can say that the required files are always on the top because if we just import in the middle maybe sometime we need it in the two time uh, before this uh, the top to that required file and all maybe we just uh, by mistake import it from the two time right second thing is as we know with the uh, you can say that uh, documentation file system is really a large module here you can see that there is a huge documentation so is there any way to just import a single function from file system yes this is possible you can just simply find here uh, require.fs dot any function name like uh, uh, write file system and all after that you don't need to just use it again and simply use this and try to x y z it will still work fine and that time we will save actually lots of memory also because we are just importing only one function keep in mind you don't need to use it like this if you just run it like this it will give error right so just import is like a property and use it like a, like a function so the another question is so is it uh, uh, required that we have to put our const name same as our package name no we can even put here zs whatever you want to say so if i just put here zs and uh, abc our file name is that abc is already created let me create here uh, code.txt it will still work fine here you can see that and here we got the another file from here you can see that right this is a more simple way and here you can see that the uh, code is also created here that uh, we just put a string so with that way we can use our core modules global and non-global if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and you can get this code on my github account link is given in the description box